Hey guys, it's Kyle again and welcome back to Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2. Today we're comparing the Modern Warfare 2019 ISO SMG to the Modern Warfare 2 ISO 45 SMG. Now in Season 2, I believe it was, we compared the ISO from Modern Warfare to the ISO Hemlock in this game. Now the difference is, is that the ISO Hemlock is an assault rifle version of the ISO. Now I don't know how that correlates to real life in terms of like what these guns are actually called in real life or how they work. It was clear as day that they were trying to do weapon families with specific guns like the AKs for the example or the M4 or the SCAR platform with the TAC gun they were trying to bunch them all up together with the whole weapon tree progression thing and it seems like they're actually committing to that with the DLC gun I wonder if, are we going to end up getting an LMG version of the ISO no idea but yeah we're going to be comparing the Modern Warfare ISO and the Modern Warfare 2 ISO 45 SMG we're going to find out which of these two guns would be better if they were both in the same game because when Modern Warfare 3 comes out next year and we get the inter integration from the Modern Warfare 3 guns into Warzone 2, we could very much get Sledgehammer's versions of Modern Warfare 2 guns in Warzone 2. So we could have two versions of the M4, the MP5, the P90, the SAB, the SPR, the MK2, the Bryson 800, all sorts of guns, including the ISO. We know that Treyarch and Sledgehammer did this with Cold War and Vanguard with their integrations into Warzone 1, but I feel like it's definitely going to happen with Modern Warfare 3. So yeah guys, like always, if you are new around here, be sure to like and subscribe for more. And let me know down below in the comments which of these two guns do you think is better and also let me know do you want me to compare this version of the ISO in Modern Warfare 2 to the ISO Hemlock? So let me know if you want me to compare the two ISO in this game. Okay, so this is the best class setup for the ISO on Modern Warfare 2019. The damage range attachments, the recoil attachments, a 50 round mag and an ADS attachment. I mean, if you still play Modern Warfare and you want to use an optic, put on an optic and swap it out for the magazine. Apart from that, that's pretty much the best class. And this is the class I use for the Modern Warfare 2 ISO. Now at the start of the game, I used this but then i'd figured i'd try and copy my modern warfare class and put on an underbarrel if you properly wanted to copy the modern warfare so you could take off the laser put on a stock instead but but the stocks on this game they heavily decrease the recoil or they at least make the recoil pretty bad and if you don't like the iron sights then you could swap out an underbarrel or a magazine for it okay so this is the weapon tuning for the underbarrel the weapon tuning for the muzzle this is the weapon tuning for the barrel and this is the weapon tuning for the laser and yeah guys enjoy the video so we're here on modern warfare 2019 the SO. Oh my god, this FOB. I actually came on this game a few weeks ago. I completely forgot FOB slider wasn't on this game. Yeah, for those of you that don't understand, this version of the ISO in Modern Warfare 2019 is the exact same version that's in Modern Warfare 2. The ISO Hemlock. The ISO M-Lock that was added to Modern Warfare 2 is the assault rifle version of this gun. Now, I don't even know what this gun is even meant to be called in real life, but there are different versions. Several guns in Call of Duty in real life. You know, we have multiple versions of the AK, actually in several Call of Duty games. So yeah, that's actually why we're comparing this version of the assault. So yeah, that's why we're actually comparing the SMG version of the assault. In this game, it absolutely shreds. In terms of time to kill hierarchy in this game, it isn't the best, obviously. No, obviously the CX-9 is the best SMG in the game. You don't even have to do a stupid animation for dead silence either. Should have been a perk in the first place. No, 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 no. This gun, I feel like it's pretty high up there compared to the other SMGs. It was very quick. The overall time to kill in this game is pretty quick. Compared to the ISO Hemlock, I think they are on a very similar level in terms of time to kill, but I think the ISO Hemlock might be a bit better at longer ranges purely because it's an AR. But obviously, we're not talking about the ISO Hemlock. Talking about the ISO 45. Now this compared to the ISO 45. I haven't had much time to use the ISO 45, so it's actually pretty hard to decide. I feel like with the best class setup, compared to Modern Warfare 2019, it's way more complicated in Modern Warfare 2 because of the weapon tuning. You're gonna see in the gameplay the difference between the two, but with the best class setup, I think this one you could be a lot more aggressive. There's the quad key. 
Get ready. I've only just finished ranking up the SO45, so it's actually it's actually kind of hard to compare the two right now. I feel like with the best time to kill class self, so if you get the max damage range on both of them, this one's definitely got a faster ADS speed. I also kind of feel like it's more accurate. I know that this gun's recoil is like kind of sporadic, but I feel like I have an easier time controlling the recoil on this version. I tell you what, some of the remakes of DLC maps on this game were good choices. I liked most of the remakes on this game. Alright, and that is it for the SL Modern Warfare. Overall, it's a solid top tier SMG that you can be really aggressive with. It's got a really good time to kill, it's got low recoil. It's it's an all around really good SMG. Alright, so now we're on Modern Warfare 2 with the SL45. So, something I've noticed in my short time of using this gun already, like I have used it for a few hours, something I've noticed is that this version has a way higher fire rate the recoil is heavier and the iron sights are a bit weirder to use i don't know why but i don't like the iron sights on this version so in terms of comparing these two versions of the assault, it's not really a good start for comparing these two guns. And the thing is, is that I've done this class for this gun the same way I've done the assault on Modern Warfare 2019. It's the max damage range and max recoil you could get with a few ADS attachments. I put on a rear grip instead of an underbarrel. I haven't actually tried an underbarrel. Thing is good enough at close range anyway. It's not like it's got so much recoil that you literally can't control it at close range. It's a really good SMG. The thing shreds on this game as well. You know what, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna swap it out and I'm gonna make it the same class as the Modern Warfare version and you can see for yourself. Like obviously I've got to put weapon tune on the attachments. ADS speed is still pretty slow for an SMG. You could swap out the monolithic suppressor for a muzzle that only increases recoil, you know, not a suppressor. That would definitely make the ADS speed way better. The problem I had when this game first came out in comparing the two different versions of these guns, or any gun that was in both Modern Warfare 2019 and this game, is that it feels like they've ripped the guns in this game from Modern Warfare. So it felt like the time to kill, almost identical if not similar, between the two different versions of the gun. You know, like the PDSW and the P90 or the M4s or the MP5. Obviously the guns didn't feel the same way in terms of movement and recoil. Well in terms of the actual time to kill, it definitely felt similar. I hope this doesn't end up being the same case for Modern Warfare 3. Sledgehammer are actually pretty much taking Modern Warfare 2's gun. It's pretty much confirmed at this point that Sledgehammer are actually doing Modern Warfare 3. We're just waiting for the reveal trailer at this point. So hopefully Sledgehammer do their own versions of Modern Warfare 2's guns. We can make a lot more comparison videos. That's the part of Modern Warfare 3 I'm looking forward to the most. I just hope that it doesn't feel like they've pretty much ripped Modern Warfare 2. Basically made new maps. Hopefully Sledgehammer can take this game and put their own twist on it. And make a better design version. So yeah, between the Modern Warfare 2019 and Modern Warfare 2 ISO, they both feel pretty similar in terms of damage range and overall time to kill. This version has a pretty fast fire rate, one that definitely feels faster compared to the Modern Warfare 2019 version, but using the best TTK class setup in terms of damage range, I think they're still on a similar level to each other, despite one of them having a faster fire rate. Oh my god, back on. Oh my god, he stole it from me. I needed a 5 on with this too. I got big projects planned, man. Every time I fail a big clip like that, it hurts. In the long run, it's gonna hurt so much. This gun has a faster fire rate, but I feel like both versions have a similar, if not the same, time to kill with the best class setup. 
and I feel like I feel like the Modern Warfare 2019 missile has a better ADS speed. You can get a 50 round mag on the Modern Warfare version, whereas this you can only get 45. Not that it's a massive difference, but the small things do matter in certain cases. I feel like you could be more aggressive with the Modern Warfare ISOL, and because both these guns are SMG, that's kind of what you need to be able to do with an SMG. So I think the Modern Warfare 2019 ISOL is actually better. But that's not to say this isn't a bad gun. This is still a really solid SMG and I'm glad they brought it back. I was happy with them bringing it back in the first place in the form of the ISO Hemlock, which is even better, they brought back the actual SMG version. Okay guys, that is it for today's video, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I always say, if you are new around here, be sure to like and subscribe for more, and let me know down below in the comments which two versions of the ISO do you think is better, and which one would be better if they were both in the same game. Like I always say guys, if you are new around here, be sure to like and subscribe for more, and I will see you on the next video.